So what's the goal of any actuarially sound capitation rate methodology? Matching payment to risk. That's the third concept that I want you to write down. Match payment to risk. But what do we mean when we say risk? There's so many different things that can be adjusted when we're talking about risk. Look, most people think payment, and they think, okay, that's the money that I get. I can come up with seven different variables that I could adjust just payment two or three different ways, each one of those. So if you think about that, if I've got seven variables and each one of them has at least three, I've got 21 different ways that I can do a capitation rate. That's just one potential variable that we're playing with. Think about all the different ways we could set capitation. Capitation, although typically paid on a per member per month basis, doesn't necessarily have to be paid on a per, month, per member per month basis. There's all kinds of different ways to do capitation. You know, if you think about it, there's risk involved in any healthcare transaction, whether it's paid on a capitated basis or whether it's paid on a fee-for-service basis. So how many of you receive your payment now on a fee-for-service basis? Okay. Um, let's talk about the risk associated with that. So um, when you get paid, um, tell me what service you provide. Uh, the TBR and center-based program. Okay, so center-based program. Um, right now, you're um, getting a fee-for-service payment. So are you at risk for the volume of services? No, because if you provide more services, you get more money, right? But you're at risk for the intensity of those center-based services. Right, if you had um, a center-based service, um, how do you get paid, on an hourly basis or a daily basis? Hourly. Okay, so um, what if um, we had um, something where um, you were getting paid on a daily basis and we changed the um, definition of a day from four hours to eight hours? That would change the intensity of the services that you're providing. Risk exists in every reimbursement structure. Don't think that just because it's fee-for-service, there's no risk involved. You have risk in a fee-for-service environment just like you do in a capitated environment. It's just defined in a different way. And one of the things that we're going to talk about is how do we match payment to risk? We use a very standardized approach. So we use call-out boxes throughout this um, presentation. For any of you who um, don't uh, have the ability to read the slides, um, because um, maybe you forgot your glasses. Uh, I actually have hard copy um, handout. Um, Thomas uh, printed them out, and I've um, got copies that you can uh, leave with if you want, okay? Uh, so these little call-out boxes, these are some little pieces of information, very specific pieces of information that might be helpful. Right now in the Wisconsin Family Care Program, can you tell me how many rate cells the states use to pay the managed care organizations? Does anybody know? There's two. I, I went and I looked at the um, actuarial certification report that's out there on the website. How many of you have gone and looked at the actuarial certification report that's on the Wisconsin, Wisconsin Family Care? Not 2013, but I've read them. You've read them. Thomas, you've looked at them? Okay. Anybody else? How many of you uh, provide services to members that are enrolled within the Wisconsin Family Care Program? Uh-oh. <clears throat> You know what my next comment is going to be. You need to read that report. Okay? If you put in any good search engine, Wisconsin Family Care Actuarial Certification and the initial PWC, Price Waterhouse Coopers, they're the actuaries who are do the certification, you should be able to find that cert. And if not, I'll send the link to Thomas and he can send it out to everybody. Okay?